Oh, hey. I was watching the wrong screen. <laughs> Do I have the volume on? Yeah. Uh, might be a little high from last Tuesday. Hello, 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 hello. All right. What's up, Large? What's up, Jay Dandy? What's up, Pudgy? Yeah. Uh, do I got everything right here? I think so. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I was watching the YouTube delayed version of myself and I didn't realize the countdown had ended. So. I don't think I have, well, my camera won't autofocus tonight, so it's all manual. But I got an insane wanderer from Columbus. Have one beer. Probably hang out a little on the short side tonight. I think I was going to jump in like almost right away to messing around with this bike. Um, getting up around uh, probably a little after 6 because we were rolling out of town, as I mentioned. Um, on Tuesday, going to Jake's Rocks in PA to ride mountain bike and gravel trails. So. so, yeah, technically I guess I'm on vacation right now, but... Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come back Sunday evening. So, um, hey, what's up, Tony? What's up, Muskrat? Muskrat, was that you we passed last night? I was 85% sure on the Freedom Trail as we were bombing down it. That was you we were passing. But I, as I looked up at the last minute, I was not 100%. <laughs> this intro could be more like the Simpsons with the peanut gallery piling onto the bench at the end. <laughs> hey, what's up, Raymond? What's up, Rick? It looks like, were you caught in the rain today, Rick? I saw that. I saw where you were uh, on Instagram. You posted some stories with the pouring rain. We got super lucky on our ride last night. Um, yeah, it looked like there was rain all around, and we started to get like a drizzle as we were getting into Kent, which is where we were heading, and... We got damp, never even really got wet, and actually sat outside on the patio all evening, so we were fine. Oh, that was you, Musker. I thought so. I was I was pretty sure. Um, Malk, Alpine Daydream, what's up? Yeah, see what... See what everyone else is drinking. I'm um, down here in the corner tonight. There we go. Let's go up to the top. Summit had a brew dog Elvis juice, grapefruit infused IPA. I used to not mind that beer, and last time I had it, I didn't like it. I've kind of stopped drinking Elvis juice. Uh, that wouldn't turn it down, but. Pudgy has a Rheingeist hard lemonade with a hint of lime. <laughs> I think that's funny. If I had a lemonade that someone told me I had a hint of lime, I'm not sure if I would know the difference. Rusty's got a, pre he said what it is in the press on from Our Town Brewing. I'm not familiar with Our Town. Are you watching Hot Ones in the background there? Or what is that? Tony looks like he's uh, mixing his podcast with the Squ Squeezy Rider, West Coast Hazy, West Coast IPA from Deschutes. Tony, I do have it on my list, by the way, to edit those photos for you when I get back from Jake's Rocks. So I didn't forget about them. I just haven't, uh, haven't done it yet. I'm trying to get everything else done before we leave. So what's up, Rusty? How's it going? Jay Danny said the name Elvis Juice turned you off. Yeah. Uh, where's my... I actually use... Where is it? When I work on bikes, my TV up here is on a swivel. And I actually use this thing of chamois cream I have down here from the trainer to make the TV stay that way. Because it just kind of rotates back and forth if you've never been down here. Uh, Tony produces a podcast. Yeah. You could, uh, Tony, if you wanted to ever drop the link to that in the, uh, what are you listening to or any section on the discord. So.
Ah, newish. Oh, so that was a newish brewery in Lancaster, PA. Gotcha. Hey, what's up, Chris Alto? <laughs> Yeah, so my plan tonight was I, I think I talked to I think Tuesday became quite the stream as you could remember. So whatever I, I think we did end up looking this up, but Otis actually got this for me in one day. Uh, I asked him, I'm like, can you get one of those uh, Nitto Tech what are their Technomic stems? Because I saw it on the Crust Instagram story, and since I, I think they're distributed through QDP, he was able to get it the next day. So basically. I mean, I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail, but here without the wide angle, uh, super long stem. And the idea is to put it on my single speed, which is supposed to just be a cruiser bike and already has kind of swept back bars. But with the really short um, stem and really long, I figured it could set it so it's completely upright. And the idea would be like the commuter when I have like a photo gig downtown Akron or something like that. I could ride the upright bike with some extra gear on the back when I'm not even gonna be trying to go fast and be comfortable. Then also with the way my back's been, I would like to have this like one bike set up in a way that's super upright and comfortable. Uh, some might call it in a Rick setup. Uh, so that's, that's the idea with this. Um, Cause obviously I have a bunch of bikes. So now for everything I ride, I want them to be like pretty differentiated. And I think that'd be perfect for this. Just a simple single speed with a real upright way and now I'm wondering after mount if I'm mountain biking all weekend with the way my back is this is what I'll be riding next week anyways so <laughs> can I say super long stem before as long as I'm holding this because then you know what I'm talking about let me turn the camera over there actually and pop the chat full screen like I said I think what we'll do then on when I get back on Tuesday because there's a lot of cool bike picks that have put in there been put in there um and stuff like that. I think we'll do like a Tuesday will just be a whole uh, looking at stuff on the internet type stream. And tonight will be see if I could get. And also this bike, I, I, I did tell the story, but I was riding home pretty buzzed one night. And I decided to bomb down one of the biggest hills in Akron on my single speed for some reason. And it was a construction zone, so it was closed. And I double flatted. And Funny Brad actually picked me up since I double flatted. I couldn't, you know, even bother changing one tube. And I guess... Yeah, I just passed out in the grass waiting for him. So I did get a couple tubes and a spare, so I, I don't know if I get to it, but I wouldn't mind getting uh, the tubes in there so this bike is ready to go when I get home next week if I need it. So I do need to sh switch out the pedals eventually too. I have pedals, if you remember, we built this bike up on the stream last year to Miata, but, um, and then I have a couple videos about riding it. But the pedals, the way they are, they don't take normal to toe cages, and I was never able to find ones that uh, work with this, so I need to switch it out to, I think I have some, oh yeah, some that Large Marge gave me. I think I'll put something like this on there. Again, no focus, but just some, I think there are, yeah, some M MKS Sylvans with uh, some All City cages. Hey, what's up, obsolescence? Just flip my bars, my cone. <laughs> the stem is a Rick stick. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I... It should be the right size. I think everything's right, but we'll find out. And I'm, I'm wondering if I'll be able to reuse my cloth bar tape or not, because it's kind of a bummer to undo the bar tape because it is blue and matches the bike. Let me get this camera in the right position. Well, I won't have to worry about the camera focusing on the uh, mic tonight because it doesn't uh, focus. I'll move this back a little 
see if I could do this without hurting myself because I'm I also only have a 35 millimeter lens on tonight because that 16 to 35 I thought that's why it wasn't focusing switched it at the last minute and turns out it's the camera not the um, not the lens so some very uh, well used well loved uh, photo equipment here Hey, what's up, Lanky? How's it going? So what do I... Um, guess I need to take off one side of bar tape and one lever and slide these bars out. So I guess I'll do this one. Probably, I need to cut this twine. When I put this on here, <laughs> when I did this bar tape, I didn't have any uh, like hemp twine or anything. I only had garden twine, so it's got this like real goofy, like rough twine on this thing. So, yeah, there's no faceplate on these old style um, stems, Rick. So you have to slide the bars all the way out. And the bar tape is shellac too, so like even this twine cutting it is like cutting something solid almost. I have never heard the country cover of Ohio is for lovers. Wasn't that a um, Virginia campaign, travel agency, camp, 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 like travel agency, travel, what do you call that? The state's travel department campaign, Virginia is for lovers. Oh, you have this style too, Rick, on the Riv. Yeah. It it's funny because with like <laughs> older bikes like this, it makes you think twice about changing things. You're like, uh, I'll wait till I wear the bar tape out more before I switch anything up, you know. I think I might be able to reuse this. Wow, I didn't realize how much the color had faded or got dirty. More dirty than faded, I guess. Uh, the back isn't too good. I was actually... I thought today I was a little on the upswing. I mean, I rode last night anyways. And then I was actually making a photography video for the other channel. And I was filming myself. And I went to stand up. This is probably about three hours ago, four hours ago. So dumb. I just tried to... Well, you know how it is. You're used to moving the way you move your whole life. I just, I just tried to stand up. And I was like, oh, yeah, I can't do that. Sat back down and slowly got up. And I feel like I set myself back to where I was. I felt like I was on a little bit of an upswing and then I just got up suddenly and now my back hurts again, so. <laughs> Sniff that rap.
There was a screamo song called Ohio is for Lovers, huh? Move this camera back just a little bit. Yeah, language. <laughs> Move it back a little bit, a little bit. I think that's good. Let's see how these levers, I don't even remember how these. I think I only have one, what, two sets of flat bar levers? period okay simple simple enough yeah I'm wondering Rick how trying to go mountain bike is biking is gonna do me because what hurts right now when I'm riding is being on like all the off-road stuff where it's real shaky or anything so i don't know we'll see i could stand up so i just if i can't spend a lot of time in the saddle i'll that's how it'll have to be but now oh, this is a regular this takes a regular wrench well i got a adjustable wrench here See if this works. If not, I'll grab a socket. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Uh, no, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Let me grab the adjust. Let me grab a socket real quick. Got my socket set right over there. Why am, why am I holding every tool? <laughs> oh, the Gus has been delayed, Rick. That sucks. What size? I'm going to guess 10 millimeter. No, 12. Not 11. Is this an American? Or is it just marred up? I don't even know where these bars came from. They're actually these are actually nittos and they actually have the cool um kind of like a cool little red badge on there. Like an old hmm. Might need to use an open ended wrench. if the half works. Oh, hey, what's up, Aaron? Good night. <laughs> Aaron's picking me up at 7 to head out to the trails. What the heck? There we go. Half inch. Hmm. 
You guys are talking about the cantilever brakes? Yeah. I'll have I'll have mine back. I should well my Marin is still at the bike shop, so but I was saying before, I am really glad I decided to have Otis and Dirty River set up the um Mayfac vintage cantilevers because to get those just quite right was a real pain. So Should be good enough, but oh, this is so much easier than sometimes drop bars are a real uh, puzzle piece to get out of these things. Oh, that's right, do any of you guys who are OGs who were here when we were doing this last spring remember we had to shim this out with a beer can? They were too loose. Whoops. Now I dropped that right between like the weirdest but my computer and uh Oh, we'll see if I need it with the new stem, so I need like uh there we go. Uh, no, Aaron. Well, Aaron has a mountain bike. A winter. That's her winter bike. We're just riding our gravel bikes out there. Um, I'll just walk over any of the. Um, I guess there's some drop offs and stuff at Jake's Rocks, but I would walk that even if I had a mountain bike. So, yeah, I've heard it's real flowy out there. So. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Aaron's winter bike is an old Cannondale. Um, which, what what Cannondale is yours, Aaron? It's like, I can't remember. It's the 90s, right? Or early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine on the bike. We're not going to, we're just not that extreme. We'll be fine on our gravel bikes. Um, I would have taken, tried to get the Marin done and taken that because I could get wider tires on it, but with the way my back is, the Marin is so long, I'd rather be on my rally anyways, so. Yeah, Rick, if you were talking about messing up the cantilevers first, there's just something that I don't want to even bother having to mess up with, mess up, I don't know. Like I, there's certain things in life and I think are certain things with bikes that I just feel like I would rather have done right once and pay for it. And then I'll maintain and figure it out going forward. Like even when I got back into cycling, I took my old mountain bike that it was my bike had been sitting in the basement forever. Then I took it to the shop down the road and I had them do like a complete, you know, complete tune up on the whole thing. And I told myself, I'm going to pay for a full tune-up, and then I'm going to maintain it from there, you know, and learn a lot about bikes, and that's still the path I'm on, you know. But there's certain things where, yeah, I don't feel – not everything is worth trying to do yourself, in my opinion, but – I almost should have left the bars in here to loosen this. I actually put them in there to wedge this out, I think. I need to put them in there is what I'm trying to say. I wonder why this is so stuck. What am I, what's going on here?
it hasn't been in there long enough to be seized up. Hmm. And that's got to be as loose as it needs to be. Yeah, if you guys know where the, um, we were looking on the maps last time, we showed it. It's where the Kenzu Dam is. <laughs> you said tap it real hard with the Allen key. I've, with, I've done that with, um. I've done that with stems that are like, like on a vintage bike that's, it's been in there forever. I've never had to do that with. With a bike that I just greased, you know, like what, a year ago? It, this hasn't like been out in any kind of weather either. If I don't want to hit it with my nice Allen wrench, I'd rather hit it with something else. flat side of this. There it goes. Hit it with my back. <laughs> Said just tap the bolt at this point. There we go. Oh, it's one of those old, uh, like I said, no focus. Those old double style. Wasn't there a brand that made these kind? Whoops. There was a French stem that you're never supposed to use because they made those cuts go too far and I guess they fail over time. But yeah, this is kind of a cool uh, vintage Nitto stem here. I can't remember what I pulled this off of. This might have come off that um, cyclocross bike. The headset on it did on here. It's actually a um, it's actually a campy headset. <laughs> this whole bike is like a Frankenstein. It's got. A front wheel from a vintage cyclocross bike, a Mavic. Uh, a rear wheel that Otis gave me that's fixie on one side, single speed on the other side. And, yeah, I put together the cranks from a couple different things. So... Let's see, where's our focus? What did you say, party size? Put a new stem on the hopper before doing that gravel ride and forgot to tighten the collar bolts. Hopped in and flew right off. Oh, man.
Hey, traveling through. What's up? Oh, muskrat. That Bridgestone turned out so. How Aaron was just saying she's about to have a um, what did you say? A stump jumper. So the guy has two bikes, and he, Aaron sent me the picture of the Bridgestone. It didn't look like an XL1, but it had this like rudimentary logos, and I'm like, this is either something super rare or totally fake. And it turns out the guy had just bought a steel frame and repainted it that way himself. Uh, so I think me and Aaron are going to go and see what that is and probably grab it, but it's not a Bridgestone at all. And then also grab the um, mountain bike. So I think they're both really small, but like um, Summit Perry, was, it has some Dura-Ace parts on it. So for me, I was thinking anything cool on the bike I would take and then you know, Summit Perry was saying he might be interested in the frame, so we'll see. But it looked like, man, really small, like, you know, almost like where the, there's almost no distance between the top tube and the down tube. So like a 52, maybe a 54. <laughs> it's funny, Pudgy, you ask about the apartments upstairs, because a number of people have, because one, they're nice and they know me. But I think both the people in the two apartments are lifers because <laughs> the one will open up when uh, it sounds bad to say it, but the one guy dies because I don't I just can't foresee, foresee him moving out unless he retired and moved down south because he does do golf trips every year. But yeah. Yeah, so how long, before I put this in here, these are, oh, it doesn't say the length. Otis had told me the length, but they're, yeah, as you could tell, ridiculously long, so. Oh, Jay Dandy loves this shirt. Yeah, all the Ohio counties. I got this at like a kind of a cool like maker store in Toledo, Ohio. No, oh, all my grease now. I can't see where my max or minimum. There it is. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a Rick stick. <laughs> I'll need to put it on the ground here in a minute anyways. But... These Soma wrenches are great. Ratcheting and the three main Allen sizes. I think I was... Kind of inspired by Rick watching me try and use my uh, bike tools to find the right size. To... Well, I don't need to look at that on the ground. No point to over tight tighten it. Rusty, Marge won't be there at the Yeti ride this week. Neither will Otis because we'll be in Jake's Rocks. You should still try and go. It's still fun, but... Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about it. Are my cables not going to... Yeah. I can't... I'm not going to be able to probably use the cables now, right? Oh, I need that underneath there. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about redoing the housings or anything with this extra length. So I want this. Nope. Let's see. 
Ah, that one will be all right. One other thing I was thinking too about having to undo the bar tape is nice. I wasn't thinking about it when I put these levers on, but I didn't point them down far enough. And then I had already bar taped over them. So. It'll be nice to adjust at least the one. So I'm going to want the, well, that tightened up quick. Oh yeah, that'll get that'll be nice. Bars above the saddle. Probably my only bike like that. I don't even party size. Bike Olympics in Tampa. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Pudgy. <laughs> I was fighting with the cable. <laughs> The Ohio Supreme Court doesn't. <laughs> that's how Rick said that's how a bike's supposed to look. I did want to point it down. I guess that'll still work. Yeah, I won't have to redo that. Nice, I made that look really easy, huh? <laughs> uh. Muskrat, you're looking for uh, Bianchi, Project 7, and Celeste? Yeah, I need to look up these Bike Olympics in a minute. Get this camera angle so we can see it. I can still barely get on these things. <laughs> oh, I have no back strength. Oh, yeah, this is going to be nice. Oh, I could actually have my tire on backwards, so I'll actually be able to fix that, too, when I uh, put the tubes in it. This is the hardest thing for me right now is getting on and off a bicycle. That's the most stretches my back.
Yeah, I actually think I'm going to just hang out. I'm not going to mess with trying to change the tubes or anything. Even trying to... <laughs> I can't be bent over or anything like that. I don't want to hurt myself more before we leave tomorrow. So, yeah, mess with that when we get back. Um, but at least got that on there and at least got to see what it looks like. Let me get this focused better. It's a little closer. Yeah, I'll do the rest of the work on this when I'm feeling better, but at least I'm glad to know that that'll work out. The clamp sizes are all right. It's going to be way more comfortable. Don't have to redo the housings, I don't think. We'll see. It's a, it's a little bent on the one, but it's a single speed, as long as it stops. Rick Urbanofsky super chatted $4.99. Just skip right ahead to a recumbent. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Rick, um, I did get recommended in the comments uh, a tricycle, which I said maybe someday, but I'm not. I'm, I'm recumbent trike. I was like, I'm not at that point yet. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Party size says put shoes on you hippie. I actually have slippers here. I started to get warm, but Tim flipping through each end of a three ended tool four times. <laughs> Tony caught that, that's for sure. And then the bike Olympics in Tampa, Party Size said Swelter's putting it on. Lots of fun mini games like Tug of War, Big City Wide Scavenger Hunt, prizes for each event. When did you say that was? It's in Tampa. Next month? Huh. That's going to be it'll be pretty hot in Tampa by then. But yeah. Yeah, they're These are great, Rusty. You don't you don't think the Soma ones are durable, Pudgy? I I haven't had it long enough to be able to comment on that, but I love it. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, I have regular Allen wrenches if I really need a wrench on something, I guess. But, yeah. they This one feels really well made. I don't know. But, yeah, I can't comment on its durability, but it's really nice to have. I want even, whether they're ratcheting or not, I want to get, like, you know, the other set, too, that covers the rest of what you would use on a bike. Because these are just so convenient. Knowing you have the right size, you have the leverage of the being able to handle it. D. Klein was just talking about these on his... I don't think they were the ratcheting ones. I think they were park tool ones, but on his live stream today uh, before his premiere. So. Rusty said, does anyone have some inspiration for a bike sh workshop setup? I do. <laughs> I don't have my wide angle lens on right now, but I, th well, you've been here, Rusty. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Pudgy said, so you're going gravel riding in PA when you could barely get on a bike? Yeah, you know, um, I will have to be careful about, like, bailing if I'm in a situation. I'll just have to be more cautious riding. But, like, last night I rode, you know, almost 30 miles. It was just really when we stopped. I would be like, what I do is I actually swing off the bike as it's moving. So I'm standing on the side of it, then step down. And getting on it, I just have to lean it over really far because that's, like, the motion that really hurts me. But riding... Um, riding all day yesterday didn't hurt at all. Like I said, some of the bumpy stuff would start to, and I would just stand up and that was enough. Cause it doesn't hurt when I stand up at all. But yeah, I, if I hurt too bad, I'm just going to hang out. We're camping. We're, you know, going to be with friends. I'll drink some beers, whatever. So not ideal. I want to ride my bike, but I'm still, I'm not going to not go. I mean, it's not like I would lay around if I stayed here all weekend anyways. So. Nah, I do most of my riding on the hoods, like like anyone, uh, muskrat. Um, I only ride a lot in the drops. If um like like when I do road apple Roubaix and it's a windy race, then I like I raced in the drops a lot. But now and my rally is set up much more high, so it's like I don't ride that slammed on anything anymore. Uh, uh, 
I, I ride in the drop sometimes, you know, when it's really uh, rough, if we're doing really gnarly stuff, because that's the most secure and low center of gravity. But for just regular riding, I'm usually on the tops or the, or the hoods. Hey, what's up, Patrick? How's it going? Rusty was there, but you can't expect him to remember. <laughs> We're talking fake Bridgestones, yeah. <laughs> I do. Oh, I don't have the focus working, but ah, uh, I'll wait. I'll wait till I, we 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 grab that bike and then I'll show it to you guys. See what we got. I did want to look up the. Uh... Oh, so this is where we're going. If you click on visit website, it goes to Facebook. I just found that out right before we came on the stream. It says 30 plus mile trail, so. Let's see what the 11 mile loop looks like. Yeah, so that's where the Kinzu Dam is right there. What does that mean? Oh, it's like a viewpoint will only be visible when the leaves are down. Oh, these are people's photos. Oh, look at that. There's a rock garden that I would definitely be walking around. Oh, look at those views. That looks pretty cool. Let's see what this is. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. What is going on? I, I have no idea what's going on here. Come on. There we go. Open link, link in new tab. Hey, what's up, JMZ? Just in time for some maps. Just put on my Pennsylvania t-shirt. I don't have any Pennsylvania t-shirts. Let's see what this looks like. A cool bridge is the caption. <laughs> now, this looks sweet. Hopefully, I feel a little better. We'll find out. Definitely going to just take a lot of Advil.
I do not understand how this works. How do I go back to the map now? Oh. And that picture's right on top of there, so you can't click on it. Now you can't open it in a new tab. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool picture. Nice size. <laughs> A Pennsylvania tuxedo. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, see you, Lanky. He said, don't hurt yourself, but too late for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is this? Someone got a video? Yeah, let's see how gnarly this is. Let's see how much I am going to get hurt this weekend. Oh, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, lots of Advil, lots of Advil. <laughs> I think this is a little steeper than the beginning of beginner part of Hampton. <laughs> <laughs Large unpacks knee pads. <laughs> Yeah, this video is four minutes, so I'm assuming it's the 
or it's just part of it, but it's the shorter trail, you know? Oh, he, he cut it there, so. Mike, who uh, arranges trips, said everything's pretty flowy. He said, you know, like we saw that photo of the rock gardens, but he said it, that's what he was saying. For most of it, we'd be fine on our gravel bikes. That's what it looks like so far, so. Oh, I'm all about the mellow. I'm fine with that. I am not an experienced mountain biker. If these are just... Let's see what this one is. Let's see if this is one of the more extreme trails. best quality he's got it in. Uh, what's up, Samuel? This is Jake's Rocks in Pennsylvania, Western PA and the Allegheny National Forest by the Kinzu Dam. <laughs> oh yeah, this stuff looks a little more, a little more gnarly on this trail for sure. What, okay, this might sound dumb, but what are the knee pads for if you hit your knee on a tree or something? I mean, what, I've never thought about knee pads when riding a bike, but I'm not a mountain biker either. Yeah, a couple of these rock things, if you can avoid them, it's still doable on a gravel bike. Yeah, and that had a bypass around that drop off. Yeah, so far all this looks doable. You just hit the brakes if you're uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't think I'd hit that on my gravel bike. <laughs> that's a little rock. That's a little rough through there.
<laughs> Rick said his back hurts just watching the video. <laughs> Man, I don't know. With all this downhill, I'm not sure I'd want to be climbing this out back out of this trails on a single speed. Uh, it's that cool bridge we saw the picture of. Oh, shit. Cool. Well, it's nice to have an idea of what I'm getting into. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that is going to depend on how I feel, but like I said, I could take it easy. I'm not... I have nothing to prove and I've never been extreme anyways so Samuel you said single speed or die yeah I don't know I'm not going to ride in the Allegheny National Forest on a single speed <laughs> Dogecoin you said your bike's just about done just need brakes and tires nice Oh, yeah, I did want to look. Might as well look at some. Oh, it's 10.03. Do a quick break, and then I think we're going to do, like, maybe 15 minutes of, like, looking at everyone's bike photos, and then I'm probably going to – I still have a couple things to pack. I'm mostly ready, but I want to double-check everything because my 6 a.m. in the morning brain is not a good one. I am not – like I've told you guys before, I do not – I just don't get up early anymore. So I need to have everything ready to go tonight. So, yeah, let's do a quick break. Um as always, I do want to say, like, say it in the video, but thanks to the members. No ads on the streams because of the members and all that stuff. And there was a new members video this week. And so there's trying to do more of that bonus content and 20% off on all swag for being a member. All right, be right back. I would just like to take this moment to thank the channel members whose names you see on the screen right now. Their financial support really does make it possible to continue to grow this channel. We will be back in a moment, so it's time to crack open another tea packet and start letting the F-bombs fly. Thanks, everyone.
Oh, there we go. <laughs> Who doesn't like pancakes? <laughs> You got to switch your uh, ducking over to the F word, Pudgy, because it's after 10. Yeah, let's look at some picks that go backwards. Uh, Waffles and Coffee. I don't know if he's in here tonight, but uh, he was asking us about this bike in the live stream or in the uh, Discord the other day, and he scored it. This is a really qu clean looking uh, rock hopper. I think, I think he said, he, what, didn't he say he paid um, 300 for it? Which I'd say right now, with the market for these things, that's a good deal. It looks like everything is there. Like, almost everything is there and almost perfect. Make this a little bigger. Wrong buttons. Yeah, but you were saying you could sell for more. Yeah, you could flip it for more probably instantly, but... This would be, I almost wouldn't want to buy one like this because it's in such good shape. I wouldn't want to change anything. You know what I mean? Everything is there. So. He said the plastic levers and I think he said the plastic, uh, what do you call those? Uh, God, my brain will not function. He, then he said just needs to get out of the kitchen before his wife catches him. What do you call these plastic spoke protectors? There's a word, there's a term that everyone uses, and it's totally slipping my mind. Taking those off my vintage bikes is always one of the first things I do, too. I can't stand the looks of them. I know some people put them on on purpose, and I get the reason for them, but I just... You, and that one, look how clean that one is. They're usually all grayed out and dirty, too. So, dork disc, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, William LeBron? Garbage. <laughs> dork, I've heard dork disc. There's another term, too. There's, there was two. I thought something plate, maybe, but ah, it's totally slipping my mind. Frisbee. <laughs> I have a whole wall of them hanging. Some of them look cool off the bike. Like, I have some metal ones or some that are metal with the plastic. I'm looking at them now. That's why I'm looking over there. But, like, I hate them on the bike, but I actually hung them on the wall because some of them actually don't look that stupid when they're not on there. But oh, That's what Patrick's saying. There's an MB1 on eBay. At an almost reasonable price, but you don't think you could buy it because it's too pristine. Yeah. Chain saver? Yeah. <laughs> Rusty, no, they don't. I, I don't know. I have a whole display of my cycling caps and little cy chain rings and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Oh, and this is the bike that Waffle said he sold last last season, then wishes he hadn't. I think he kind of replaced it with a pretty cool bike too, though. So, Williams up past his bedtime. Yeah, you've been posting a ton of William. You've been posting a ton of cool riding pictures online. Looks like you've been having a blast lately. I got Raymond's crust here. 
That looks awesome in black. Not DSO, though. DSO. Spoke protector is the proper term, yeah. I, th I just thought there was another, like, jokey, like, slang term, like, dork disc, and it's not... Oh, yeah, we got to show Pudgies because we skipped it. Because I think that's right when uh, when that when Maris and everyone showed up last Tuesday with the new tires. Oh, the gray look awesome with that, too. I did glance at this. But... <laughs> Dick slapping owls. <laughs> Pie plate. I think you're right, Chris. I've always called them pie plates. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that looks sharp AF. You were asking about the uh, Surly Rusty... Uh... Karate monkey. Pie plate's the term I had in mind, yeah. Uh, Muskrat, you said years ago you thought you were getting a Grant Peterson Bridgestone mountain bike on... Thought I was getting... Instead, you bought a bent chase day, chain stay piece of stupid shit. <laughs> Oh, you learned to eye things very well after that. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a... I haven't bought much on eBay. Like, I, I'll i look at Craigslist and then, you know, I'll go and see something in person. But, yeah, unless it's very obvious, you know... To get that a little more in focus the other way. Yeah, that's better. But you said you need to adjust your saddle. Let's look at that again. I missed it. You have that thing aiming down a little bit, huh? Rick Sad Saddle there? Anyone ever buy a C's seat post nightmare? I've had the headset thing happen on a real vintage bike, like, where I really did have to hammer it, like, put down a wood block and hit it to really break the, um, what do you call it? Like the shank, shank loose. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a problem with a stuck seat post. I might have had to wedge some out, but I've never had one that wouldn't, that ruined it or anything. I cannot remember which ones we looked at last week on Tuesday and which ones we didn't. Oh, okay, we saw those ones. All right. So we saw – we did go most of them. I just somehow happened to, like, skip just, like, pudgies mostly. <laughs> I'll pull up this other picture of Raymond's crust because it's such a sweet bike. He's got a high stem on there, huh? Look at those spacers.
that is the evasion in black well that's the regular evasion because the evasion lights the bluish like the aqua one Oh, your fat chance, Pudgy. You had to mess with that one forever to get it out of there. Hey, what's the, uh, look at those levers. Those are sweet, too. What are those? Deer comps. Oh, it's a one by with a bar end. I was like, where are the shifters going? I couldn't figure out. Yeah, he's got a uh, one by with a bar end on this side over here. Oh yeah, Pudgy, you said your frame was a one a, one of a kind, so yeah, it was not a hammer job for sure. Rivet Lannis up on sale on 420. Tempted, but it might be too tall. I'm trying to think of what anything I've had stuck, I've definitely done just like doing the PB Blaster WD 40 over a couple days and giving it some time. Um, I'm trying to think of what I had that was stuck like that. I didn't think it was a seat post, though. Yeah, I mean, if you don't care about the seat post, you could, yeah, there's a lot you can do. If you don't care about the frame, you could, I mean, if it's not important, you could risk it, but yeah. Uh, what did Rusty move on to? A Russian Imperial Stout from Iron Hill Brewery. Nine point eight percent. Whoops, wrong buttons. Uh, William LeBron just dropped this one in the uh, Discord. Oh, yeah, the felt. Oh, Pudgy said this arrived at his shop today with a matching tie fork. <laughs> Ukrainian stouts only. <laughs> Oh, then Pudgy also got his swag from the uh, four twenty for the four twenty Roach Clips ride. So Woody actually went out and pre-rode that again today to plan for it. So he was asking if anyone wanted to make it out, but I was obviously rushing to get through all my work today so I could be stream tonight and be comfortably hitting the road tomorrow for the trip. So. I had that tire project I've been telling you guys about that I just had to get done. So 
had to edit all that and then I was shooting artwork at 10 a.m. this morning that I had to edit and I had to clip it out and put it on a pure white background so just a bunch of editing type normal editing type stuff that I had to do see what else we got in here. I think I might have covered everything that everyone's dropped for the most part. I think I did want to bring this up. I brought it up in the um, members chat we have on the Discord for channel members. And again, if you are a channel member, you could link Discord and YouTube, and then you get access to the uh, those kind of channels. Anyways, that's where I drop like the discount codes and stuff like that. But um, I was thinking of like for the members who have been on and shown their bikes, you know, here I was thinking of going back to the live streams and clipping out those segments, and then like making a whole new playlist about your guys' bikes, you know. So cut out like the first half hour of the stream where we're just chatting with everybody. And then if we're just sitting around buzzed at the end, cut that off. And so make edits out of like people explaining and talking about their bike and uploading it as a second, as a its own playlist, I thought it'd be interesting. And I was even thinking about that with when Maris was on on Tuesday, when he started just talking about like riding in LA after we stopped just all goofing around as a group. Um, and I'm like, that would be like an interesting piece of the live stream. That would be a good standalone video where the whole video you know, or the whole live three hour live stream, you know, doesn't need to be its own thing. So I was wondering if you guys thought that would be a cool idea. Um, obviously, the people who are on the chat, you already watched it live. But again, you know, that's way less than the amount of people who watch like a produced video. And I think some of those like interviews are like interesting content. So I also want to see what kind of quality it, it'll show in. Like if I clip it, will it stay in at least that 1080? Um, I don't know just an idea so hey Garvin good night <laughs> Uh, Tony asked any plans for the cycling news show I teased. Yeah, and I've still been thinking about it and not and keeping my eye on the like just thinking about the idea and how I'd want to execute it. You know, the whole thing with the cycling news show idea is I don't I thought I'd start it when I got back from Tampa and I didn't have enough time. I want to do it when I know I would do it weekly cuz it's something that if I start and stop that I think it would be I hate when people like I just I hate when I follow other channels and they always talk about ideas and then, or they do one and then they never follow through. So I didn't want to do it till I had a way where I could like keep it going. And so far I haven't felt like I could. So, but I still like the idea of the cycling news show and I think it would do really well. Um, but yeah, the clip thing. Oh, so Rick, you said it's a good idea and that would be, I, I haven't tried to do I've clipped off the beginning of streams like that intro thing and then I realized that was turning off the chat and now I realize that's not happening anyways but so when people would watch it the next day they wouldn't have to fast forward through the intro so I think they would be like the same process to clip something out of the middle and I'm not sure how much I could edit it like can I cut out little other parts if we just go off topic but yeah I think it'd be a cool idea but Oh, yeah, Rusty. Yeah, we were talking about, like, yeah, because that's the other thing. I need to do the effort to line up, like, what Rusty's saying, have people do, like, little segments on the cycling news show to make it more entertaining. But I'm definitely still into it. Uh, I think it's a really good idea. Someone should do it and, you know. 
<laughs> clip. <laughs> I was wondering now that they have like Twitch is a thing where people like clip stuff on Twitch. Like now that YouTube has that option on the live streams, where do the clips go when someone clips it? Like, does it go onto my channel somewhere? Like if you guys clip it, where would it go? Like, and I clips is more for like gaming stuff or like people do it on Twitch on like Terry B's, like something crazy happens, they'll clip it. But I don't know. I mean, I don't understand what we would do on this stream if someone clipped something, but you know, that wasn't, you know, if it wasn't me doing it for a purposeful edit, but I need to do something like for the cycling to make the cycling news show happen. I almost need to pick a time to like sit down and record it every week. And that's so hard to do with my schedule. Cause I never know what my schedule is going to look like. Um, you know, it's because just shoots are all over the place. Events could be any time. I just picked up one that's one to four on a Monday. Um, but it almost needs to be like I do it on Sunday evening. Like, I don't know, maybe I change that. I put out a new video every Monday or maybe every Monday is the new show because Sunday evening is always a time where I, I know I have time to do stuff. I usually don't, you know, I get home from I do p dinner with my family usually and then I get home and I have like two or three hours before I go to bed. So maybe that's the way I make it happen. It's just by making myself do something at a certain time every week. But Oh, the clips can be shared on social media. God, you must clip it. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was thinking, well, Rusty, if it, that's why... Like, if I was clipping something, it'd be, like, very specific, like, Jay Dandy talking about his bike when he was on. So, like, we talk, I think, for 30 minutes at least before we get into his bike. So, it'd be, I'd clip out, like, the first part where we're just kind of chatting, and then it would just be a video about Jay Dandy's Gary Fisher, or when Dylan was on, you know, with his bike, it would be just about that, or, you know, Funny Brad had his winter build on, so title of the video could just be, like, the person and their bicycle kind of thing. So it's an idea. That t-shirt should have some toothless banjo players in some parts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Snap? How's it going? Yeah, I'm upright. Uh, as we were talking earlier, I'm heading off tomorrow to some mountain bike trails in PA, a trip we planned a long time ago with our buddy, well, Mike, who was on Tuesday, who's in from LA. So we'll see if I'm still upright after that. But yeah. Oh, Pudgy, you're right. It is getting late, 1030. Yeah, I'm going to end this one early. Like, uh, yeah, I am going to <laughs> titles with bicycle names get views for sure they really do actually i mean uh what the first the first video that got a lot of views on this channel was just me talking about my old peugeot and that's not even a very special peugeot um so yeah <laughs> all right guys yeah i am going to finish my packing and get in bed by 11 o'clock and I did, rec did record a video last night. I heard it's already on YouTube. It's just scheduled. So Saturday morning, there'll be a new video of us riding last night. Um, it's got kind of a fun time lapse in it. Uh, just a short, like, four-minute ride video. And then hopefully I'm bringing my drone and everything to Jake's Rock. So even if I can't ride as much as I like, hopefully I could maybe even get in some positions to take some video of other people riding, you know. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll definitely make a video out of it no matter what. But... It might just be me drinking beer around a campfire. But all right, guys, I will well, video on Saturday. We'll stream on Tuesday and hopefully a Jake's Rocks video on Monday if I could get it done in time, depending on when we get home. All right. Okay, okay. bye. Okay, yeah. this <laughs> time. Fitzwater photo.
Yeah.